evening. Hope we're all fit and healthy. How many of us have trained today and in a good need of a stretch or how many of us just finishing the week off having a stretch? I'm hoping I've got my cam camera hand angles right. We'll see how he goes. It's been freezing cold, so I put long sleeves on, put long trousers on, put the fan heater on. I might end up absolutely sweating. Um, not that the main objective of stretching is to sweat, but we'll see how we go. So who's joining? I think I've got one or two of you at the moment. Let's see if I can get my uh, media up to date. Oh, I've got three of you so far. I'll be taking my socks off in a minute. So what are not? Well, that's better than I thought it was set up for. Cool. We can see the majority of my maths as well. Where can't we see? Mm, probably not that much. So who's in desperate need of a stretch? And has anybody got any particular areas that, areas they want to focus on? Because seeing as you're here now, guys, why not? Pop in any suggestions for the specific areas you want to look with. No rolling till later, Alice. Ah, oh, well, I hope you've been looking after your knees and your back and all that. Like I say, if you look, if you're here for the tunes, <laughs> it's not exactly like a, uh, a a playlist and a half to get singing along to. It's um, it's Pilates and yoga music I found today. We'll see how we get on with that. Oh, two big figures. Well, it's always good to make sure we stay well stretched anyway, guys. So uh, whether you are sticking with me or whether you're just dipping in and out, then that's fine. Um, get going with that oh gnomes is watching gnomes are you gonna stretch has it been a hard day of painting or not so much glutes and back i know I'll try and do some glute stretches and some back stretches so we'll see how we get on with those it's always a good one to uh, release the glutes touch let's take your socks off in preparation I'll put them somewhere where they're out of camera shots so they don't look like I've just scattered them somewhere. The gnomes here. Are you taking part, gnomes? Or are you just watching? What are we doing? It's Friday night, a bit of sunshine out. I think people are making the most of it after such a miserable start to the day. Oh. So I'm going to do a fair bit of standing stuff. Uh, only because I've managed to get the camera set up so you can see my head today. Um, so that's a good start. These things, no doubt, will probably get in my way at some point. So if you haven't got hanging things in your way, brilliant. If you have, smash them off just like I'm about to do. And if there's any specific areas that you, you really do want to focus on, um, please just note it down and I'll try and cover everything I possibly can. Um, it's just going to be a whole body stretch on the whole. Um, if you were uh, watched the live, uh, well, the pre-record that Anna did on Wednesday, really good for the knees. If you're struggling with your knees, it's a good one to go back over and have a flick through. So um, either get that on the YouTube channel or go scrolling through Facebook and see what you can find. You're doing it brilliant. It's raining, I know. Oh no, hopefully it hasn't undone all your good hard work. Right, I'm just going to pop the music on, make sure it's an okay audibility, if that's a word. Oh, are you kidding me? You can't perform it when it's offline. I'll put it offline for a reason. We'll see what happens. Do we not go in? I've got you, Gnomes. I've got you. Okay, cool. So, let's get ourselves a little stopwatch on the go as well. So we can then... Make sure we're hitting everything we need to for a specific amount of time. Happy days. Right, I always do start off nice and simply. So keep the feet directly underneath the hips, keep your knees soft and just start by flexing a little bit. So we're gonna go onto our toes and then back onto the soles of the feet. So onto your heels. A little bit of a rock. So you can rock onto your heels and lift your toes off the floor at the back and then roll onto your toes at the front. A little bit like a calf raise, but at the back don't lean too far back. I don't want you tumbling over, okay? So don't lock those knees out, keep them soft and relax everything back in there. It's very chilly music, isn't it? <laughs> For 
from there, all I want you to do, just take a little bit of a dive down, so slowly guide your fingertips down towards your toes. Only go as far as you can, so if you can't quite reach the floor yet, no problem. And then slowly glide back up. So just brushing the fingertips all the way up the shins, back up to the thighs. And again, it's exactly the same. So repeat that a couple of times. Nose, it looks like it's just you and me. <laughs> oh no, back up to three. That's okay, cool. So nice, slow movements. You should feel your hamstrings, a little bit in the glutes as well. And all we're doing is literally nice lower and lift. So from a side profile, all I'm doing is I'm just controlling the movement down. Each time I get down, I'm trying to reach a little bit further, okay? And my goal is, once my hamstrings are a little bit warmer, try and get my palms on the floor. But we're easing it into it bit by bit. Don't force it just yet. Right, on the next one, all I want you to do, you're going to take your hands all the way up, overhead, and then a slight arch of the back. And then bring it slowly forward, and again repeat it, scoop down. So reaching down for the ground, and again slide back up, taking the arms up overhead, and then a little bit arching in the back, and then back down from there. Next time when your arms are up overhead, keep them up there and then just push on to your toes and then relax. So push on to your toes and then relax. Keep your chin away from your chest, so looking straight ahead, just so you've got a nice neutral spine running from top to bottom. And then just relax the arms down, slow shoulder rolls. So slow shoulder rolls. So what we're looking to do is just relax your arms, let them hang however you want to. And I'm just bringing my shoulders forward, nice big roll around towards the back and then squeezing my shoulder blades together at the back. So nice and controlled. Change direction, so bring them forwards. Nice smooth movements. And we're gonna gradually make those movements a little bit wider. So I want you to take your arms wide and circle forward. Going on there, we go. Circle the arms forward and get bigger with the circles. So bigger with the circles all the way back and through. And then change direction. So take them up and back. Oh, try not to hit anything in the conservatory. And all we do is just cross the arms over and open wide and then cross them over and open them wide. So I'm just overlapping right arm on top and then open and overlapping left arm on top. So just opening the chest up nice and wide, getting a little bit of release through the upper back as well. Nice controlled movements. And then take the arms up and then relax them down, slowly ease down to the ground. And then come all the way back up again. So this time I want you to just push your arms away from you and then slowly bring them towards you. So push them away and then bring them back towards you. As you push them away, squeeze your shoulder blades, pull them towards you, a little bit of a bicep activation. So pushing and pulling. just turning my hands. So I'm pushing my hands away from me and I turn and squeeze my fists in, that's it together and then push away, just a few of those and then relax the arms down. Back into the shoulder rolls and then we're gonna go into a tricep stretch. So take one arm, place it between the shoulder blades. You can hold onto the elbow if you want to and all I'm doing is I'm reaching down between my shoulder blades and I'm just giving a little bit of a pull onto that elbow, just a fraction, 
and I'm going to hold it there. Should you feel a nice release running all the way down this arm, maybe a little bit down into the obliques too. Once you're on the one side, change over. So just a nice bit of an upper body release to begin with. And if you can, hold on to both elbows, okay? So hold on to both elbows and just squeeze them together as best you can. Feel that again, a little bit in the neck and also the triceps as well. Set the arms wide overhead and then just relax them back down from there and just squeeze and circle the shoulders. From there, all I'm going to do is take one arm across the face of the body and just give it a little bit of a pull. Take a deep breath in and as you breathe out, you're going to pull that arm a little bit closer towards you. So breathe in and then breathe out and pull that arm across and hold it there. Relax that arm off. Take the other arm across the face of your body, hold it there to begin with. And then we're going to take that deep breath in and as we breathe out, we're just going to pull that arm a touch further in towards us. So breathe in, breathe out and pull. And then relax that arm there. Okay, from there, all I want you to do, slide your hands down towards the ground and try and put your, the heels of your hands on the floor. Okay, so heels of your hands on the floor. Take your feet a little bit wider if you're finding it a little bit tough to put your hands down, okay? Then from there, once you've got quite a decent position where you're quite stable and balanced, loop your arms behind you and take them towards the ceiling. I'm hoping we change tracks, otherwise it's gone very quiet. And what I can do, you stay down there, guys. Let's get some more music on. So you should have your hands directly over the top of you. And let's keep going with it. Right, from there, all I want you to do is place your hands back down on the ground. Keep one hand on the ground and then take one arm up and look towards the fingers tips. So I've got my left arm in the air if you want to, the right one, that's not a problem. And I'm looking up towards my fingertips. rotation through it if you can. Feel a little bit on the inner thigh as well as that shoulder and then control it and change sides. So looking all the way up that arm, up towards my fingertips and then come back there. Change it back to the first side again. So go back to your first side, again just release those shoulders. Switch. So we should be on our second one from there. From there, hands come back down. If you can, loop those arms back behind you again and both arms towards the ceiling. Now we've warmed our shoulders up. Can you get those arms forward and through a little bit more? So can you get those arms up and through a little bit more? Nice upper back release. Feel it in your hamstrings too, guys, because of the wide foot position. It's all good. Two for one deal there. And then slowly ease up. As you ease up, drive your hands overhead, get a nice length for those arms. Feet can remain wide. And then whilst you're here, keep the feet wide. Turn the front set of toes to face one way. The other set of toes can remain facing forward and get into like a lunge position. You take your arms nice long length from there and then what we're going to do is we're going to tilt over that front knee. So you get ready to tilt over the front knee. Take this arm, the one which is directly opposite that knee bend, down, inner thigh, towards the shin and lift the other arm towards the ceiling. Now again, it depends how wide your stance is and how good your flexibility is as to whether this hand is touching the floor or not. If it's not, don't worry. We're looking for a nice straight line, running all the way from his arm, right down, shin, 
to the ground. And a nice long stretch running down the side of this body. That way there. From there, if you level out, reset that foot. So get that foot to face forward. These things are going to be death of me. Turn that one that way and then centre. From there, just drop that front arm down and the other one takes up to the ceiling. A little bit of hip flexor release too. Hold that stretch. This music sounds better than the indoor cycling one I was using the other day. <laughs> Slowly ease work out of it. Get both sets of toes facing forward. Now we're in a wider stance with our feet. Take your hands down towards the ground, and if you can, take your feet a touch wider, okay? So make sure they're in line. Support yourself with your hands just directly underneath the shoulders, and just stay in that position. Right now I can feel it hitting my glutes a little bit. It's definitely hitting the inner thighs. But we're going to continue to try and stretch our arms at the same time. So from here, what I want you to do is again take that twist. Now there's no way I can get the same amount of rotation with my legs as wide as they are compared to what they were when they were narrower. But I want you just to try and get the rotation you possibly can and just turn your head and shoulders in the same direction you're taking that hand up to. And then change sides. It's going to open up the hip flexors a little bit more as well. We're putting a little bit of weight onto the opposite side we've lifted our arm on. And then put the hand there. Now if you can, give yourself a minute, try and walk your feet a touch wider. Now things are a little bit warmer, we may have a little bit more range of movement, but again, don't force it. Only go as wide as you possibly can. And when I say get comfortable, it's going to be a little bit... Well, not possible, but stay as comfortable as you possibly can by feeling that stretch on the inner thighs. Now from there, slowly walk the feet back underneath the hips, but remain keeping your hands on the ground. As soon as you find that your hands are lifting, either bend your knees a little bit, or take your feet back out wider a touch. Now I'm releasing my lower back, so make sure you stay as folded as you possibly can. My hands are now going to loop around behind my calves, and I'm just going to try and get my chest a touch closer to my thighs. If you can, walk your feet in a little bit narrower, and really try and get that chest nice and tight to your thighs. So it should be a real tight, compact, and as best as you possibly can. Now from here, I'm gonna take my feet just under my hips again. I'm gonna sit into that squat position, and I'm gonna put my arms out at 45 degrees. So stay in that 45 degree position with your arms out in front of you just like that. And then from there just relax the arms down, drop that chest all the way down to the thighs and then lift it back up again, get the arms to 45. Fold again, so bring the chest back down to the thighs. You don't have to take as deep position on that squat if you don't want to, you can stand a little bit taller and then stand all the way up to the top. So stand up nice and tall and again, just get a whole length of the body stretch. So all the way up to the top and then relax the arms down, okay? So another one I want you to try and do little bit more with the arms. So with the arms, what I want to do, we're going to combine. So we're going to do a tricep stretch again. Take that arm directly over the top, reach between the shoulder blades. And then from there, same arm, bring it across the chest. So 
So we've done them both individually. We're just going to put them together and then we can change sides. So between the shoulder blades, just a nice good upper body release and then bring that arm across the face and the chest. And then relax them down. Okay, we're gonna head down to the ground now, boys. So if you wanna take a seated position. Seated position, nice long length of the legs. And again, what I want to start off by doing is just reaching towards the soles of your feet and try and get your chest as low as you possibly can. Again, everyone's got a different range of flexibility. So if you can't get chest to thighs, I can't, then don't worry about it. Just do what you can. From there, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend one liter 90, just hold onto my shin and pull it in towards my chest. Okay, so I'm pulling it in nice and tight towards my chest and I'm going to release it out and then change legs, so pull it in towards your chest and then change sides, so a couple of times each just to warm them up and then change sides. Next time, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take one leg over the other and I'm just going to turn towards it. So I've got one leg over the other, I'm just going to turn towards it and I'm going to take a deep breath in. As I breathe out, I'm going to try and walk my hand a little bit further behind me, get a little bit more rotation. So breathe in. As you breathe out, go a little bit wider around. Hold the stretch in. Look in the same direction that you twisted to. Wherever your head goes, your shoulders follow. Take a deep breath in as you breathe out. Try and get a little bit further around. Slowly ease it off. And then we're going to change sides. So cross the other leg over. Turn around. Pardon me, turning my back to you. Breathe in, as you breathe out, walk the hand a little bit further through. It's like the same again, breathe in, as you breathe out, walk a little bit further through. And then ease back to the front. Right. Take that lie down now, and this time draw both of your knees towards your chest. Relax your head down to the ground and just pull them towards you. From there, relax one leg off. Take one leg to the ceiling and just pull that a little bit towards you. Feel that release in the hamstring. Relax that one off and change sides. you can bring your chest down to the ground. Only get to the point where you're feeling the stretch again. Over time you're hopefully going to get a little bit freer where you'll be able to get lower but don't force it. Slowly ease up out of that one and then we're going to change legs. 
I'm going to turn it around so you can see it again. So bring the one leg through in front of you, 90 degree bend, relax the back foot, and again, what you're looking for is trying to push your hips down to the floor. You can either stay upright, you can get down to your elbows, or you can try and get onto your forearms and chest down. Now that hip flex is a little bit tighter, so I can't get as low into this one. Feeling the thigh and the hip flexor and the glute in this stretch. Sometimes you'll find that the glute is tight and that needs to be worked on to help ease up the back. Or it could be that you've just got a bad back. From there, change sides. So that wide split position and I want you to walk your hands over towards one side. So try and get your chest as close to one leg as you possibly can. I've got one hand on my leg, the other hand's on the floor. If you can grab both hands on one leg because you've got that range of movement, go for it. If not, stay as you are. From there, ease it over to the opposite side, easy over. Again, if you're doing a lot of running, guys, hamstrings are gonna get absolutely battered and calved. So it's so important that we do some good old stretches just to keep us mobile. Ease to the front and slowly drop to your knees. Now we do cover the hip flexor one quite a lot, so we will do it again because it is such a valuable release. So with your hip flexor stretch, take your knees wide. So take it wider than what you normally would in like a child's pose position. And then just sink, push your butt back. Oh, I'm getting cramp in my toes. and then raise into more or less a downward dog position. If you can get your heels on the floor, do it. And then what we can do, get a little bit more length in one leg, so take one leg up. And you're on three points of contact on the floor. So one leg up and three points of contact on the floor. A little bit of core training as well. And then change sides. You may find you've got a bit better balance on one side compared to the other. I feel that one hip is a little bit tighter than the other by doing this. And then relax it down. Fold back into child's pose, so put your knees down and push back. Walk those fingertips out, nice long length of the body. And just hold that position. So pushing your chest down towards the ground, because again, we want to get a little bit of release through the shoulders as well. Back into 
a lying down position. Let's take a chance to take a full out body stretch, so reach the fingertips as far overhead as you possibly can and just relax. So let the body relax. Try and take any tension out of it whatsoever. And then once you've taken the tension out, just get the knees to 90 degrees and let your legs fold one way. So take the legs one way. You want to take your arms the opposite way you can. I'm keeping mine overhead, but I'm trying to keep both shoulders on the floor, which isn't happening. And then slowly go back to 90 and then roll to the other side. If you feel the release through the lower back. Get back to centre and then totally extend the legs out again to get comfortable lying down. Place your hands just underneath your lower back, sit yourself up, put the soles of your feet together and just let your knees drop down towards the ground. We'll just finish with a little bit of a hip opener and then for those of you who haven't got foam rollers, you can uh, kick off your Friday night, hopefully a little bit more relaxed. And for those of you who have got foam rollers, got a little bit of rolling to do. Right, if you take one leg and put it out nice and straight, the other leg, pop up high in a thigh. So high in the thigh and then just reach down the length of that leg. Once you've done the one side, change over. So length of that leg and then we'll reach down nice and long. A bit again, soles of your feet together, just finish it there, really. So, team, that's your stretching on for a Friday night. If you have got a foam roller, and then hang on there, give you a few more minutes with the foam roller, um, and then, like I said, feel free to kick off your Friday night chilling out. How many of you are staying? How many of you are coming? <laughs> Sound of music, my life, what is this? This is Pilates and yoga. With an orchestra. Right, chill out then. So relax your legs off. We're gonna get our farm roller friend into play. We're gonna work on the ITB today. So the ITB, I know we have kind of mentioned it a few times now, but it's one which is running down the side band of your leg, okay? It's not a pleasant one. If they're extremely tight, then this is going to be excruciating for you. So don't put full body weight on it. Yeah. So nice and controlled with the amount of pressure you put onto it. Uh, use your arms and legs as support, and then just gradually, like you would do with anyone. Most people recommend the foam roller technique is roll a couple of inches up and go inch down. So you get two inches one way, then one inch back just so you work the entire area, okay? So all I'm doing is I'm on the side, I'm running down the side band of that leg, and I'm just controlling it until I find something that really takes my fancy, which really doesn't take my fancy because it flipping my alerts. But when you do find that point, stay on it, okay? And then what you can do is start to turn in towards that and then turn away from it. Again, I'm using a lot of support with my hands and my feet to not pull, put full body weight on it. So what we're going to do is as you roll, stop on a point, roll into it, and roll away from it. Again, and then gradually just roll up the leg, 
roll into it, oh that's lovely, and roll away from it. And then roll all the way back just above the knee, and do it again, okay? So bit by bit, and you'll find that as you're releasing the ITV joint, you'll also be hitting a little bit of the quads too. So I've got ITV and quads, double attack, ha oh, and they're doubly attacking me right now. Bit at a time, that is, ooh, ooh, round one. How do we find that one, yeah? So again, you can use the same principle on any of the main muscles, where you just find a point and then roll in and away from it. Once you're done one side, you're not off the hook. So we've got to do the other. So start and roll into it. Oh, okay, a bit. That is an area that is vital, but it's beneficial because if you've got the odd niggle, it will help. Okay, then go back to the beginning and do it again. Oh, not nice, not nice. So how are we finding that? I'm not going to spend too much time on that because I don't want to bore you to death. Right, you can roll things out like your forearms on these things. Exactly the same principle, okay? So you can roll out your upper body, biceps, this, that, and the other. It's not as easy, but they still can be used for things like that. Back's another good one. I have done a neck one before, but again, we never use it as something to bridge off. Okay, so you treat it more as a pillow, so it sits in the back or the crook of your neck. And then from there, all you do is slow control movements looking from side to side. So it's slow and control movements, side to side, but never put in more than your own kind of just neck weight on there. So don't breach. So keep the rest of the body relaxed. And then slow movements. That's quite a nice one. And if you do want to stretch out or roll out your upper back, what you can do is put the top of your shoulders on there. So top of your shoulders, Arms can go overhead if you want to, and then from there, just little movements again. I don't mind riding out my back, to be honest. So on the whole, but again, it just depends on how much training you do and what areas take the bigger hit. So all I'm doing, using the same principle as what I did on my ITB, so I'm just rolling and then just tilting side to side. ideas to be fair. Team, hope you have a very pleasant Friday night. Hope you also have a very pleasant weekend in all honesty. Um, don't forget there are no lives on a Saturday um, but keep your eyes open on the group for bits and pieces that obviously will be probably put out and uh, Sunday there's a whole lot of training on. Have a good one guys, hope you've had a decent week and uh, here's hoping for less uh, showers and more sunshine again. Catch you all soon.